Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Kyle Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested to migrate to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once by all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Now, today's video, I would like to introduce uh, a so-called workplace justice visa, uh, which is pretty rare. Uh, it's probably one of the kind ever in the uh, history of mankind, because uh, usually the immigration of any countries or jurisdictions uh, will only uh, legislate a law or visa to allow people to enter in Australia uh, or any country uh, of their, their department. Uh, however, uh, no one has ever thought to legislate a visa just for the justice and fairness for the work workers out there. I think this is a, a breakthrough and it's actually a very, very good approach uh, towards bringing the balance and fairness and justice, obviously, uh, between the employer and the employee. Uh, and um, I, I didn't expect this. I thought uh, Australian government were only um, having some sort of policy to, you know, enforce upon employer to comply. And if they don't comply, uh, there has way for them to actually, uh, you know, penalize or, 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 you know, sometimes conviction if they done things really seriously. Uh, however, uh, because employer are usually Australian citizen or they have a status in Australia, so they could have used some sort of tactic uh, to prolong any type of civil process process that the workers out the employee or the complainants ultimately has uh, the visa expired and they need to leave Australia that that makes the employee more vulnerable uh, in a disadvantaged status so Australia has actually introduced this law I think it's it's pretty good it's actually um, protect the employee uh, much better and and this for short term, I think uh, it will have some sort of imbalance in between employers and employees. Some employer will then go, oh, damn, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to sponsor anyone anymore. But for mid midterm and long term, I think it's good for the nation of Australia. And it's, again, it's the first of the, its kind uh, globally. And I think this is a very good demonstration to, to just bring fairness and justice uh, between employee and employee. So bring that balance back there. Okay, now this, uh, it's actually, they did not put too much uh, attentions on promoting this, but on 1st July, that's last uh, last week, uh, there has been a, a, a additional web page talking about migrant worker protections. So on the 1st July, there is so-called the workplace justice uh, visa and that will be putting upon subclass 408 which has already been inserted it's just allowing the the uh, the, the disadvantaged employee well sometimes may not be there can be uh, you know uh, buyers complain they, they, I, I'm just saying that there could be something arguable but between this period of time that the employee wanted to bring balance uh, and fairness uh, towards the employer, uh, there is actual visa category for the employee now. So uh, as we read on, it says uh, reduce temporary migrants ex exploitation, increase employer compliance. There are three new work related offenses to make illegal for employers. So what are these three? Uh, coerce and pressure temporary visa holder breach work visa conditions. So what would that be? That that would usually be, you know, if you don't work now, I will fire you. Okay, if you don't overwork, if you don't work uh, on the weekend for and I'm not, not gonna do a double pay for you then I'm gonna fire you I'm gonna dismiss you so that's uh, coerce or pressure uh, or, or sometimes goes beyond you know if it's gonna be torture become a modern slavery okay coerce and pressure non-citizen without valid visa to a segment degree work related arrangement for example uh, we have seen uh, some you know back group of people uh, they utilize student visa come to work 
over and over and work in an unrelated industry for example some uh you know dark area no, I'm, I'm just saying that dark area you probably can uh, un understand uh what sort of industry that would be so that will be uh and usually it's uh, unlawful in the in in the way uh, and the third one is uh, use a worker temporary visa status exploit them a uh, word including racial and existing visa condition relating support future visa applicants for example okay for example uh if you don't work i'm not gonna sponsor you anymore if you don't work i'm not gonna sponsor you and, and get you into a permanent residency anymore so these kind of things if these three kind of things happen uh, you will be able to access and um, obviously you need to make a complaint and this will be uh there will be a legal procedure required uh, and then you will have that evidence and reference number and then to launch this visa this visa as i understand it's zero dollars however uh if you want to do it yourself yes you can but i will uh, certainly advise that you get a legal advice before you do it because you don't want to lodge a buyer's complaint then that will cause a lot of problem and then obviously you your relationship with the employer will obviously explode okay uh, the law covers a range of work related situations so uh, underpaying pressure pressuring worker to work and over hours uh threatening to cancel migration uh, migrants uh, visa coerce a migrant to hand over their passport well, i never seen this this is going crazy beyond a uh, coerce the migrant worker to engage unwanted sexual acts <laughs> uh and that's where i'm calling uh, in, uh, name the dark area okay pressuring migrant worker to accept inadequate living conditions so these are the things that uh you need you might want to be aware of so i'm doing this video just for the sake to get everybody understand now let's let me turn you into the actual piece of legislation and the law so this is already there as you can see this uh, legend come is uh, um, immigration law dictionary that we can access with so i can tell you it's under uh subclass 40 uh, 408 with the insertion of 228 a so this new clause there with the uh, title reads workplace justice so uh if you can see here they have two uh, items one and two it basically says that uh, uh the applicant which is gonna be the complainant and the visa applicant seeking for this 408 visa I, I i don't i do not recommend people to abuse to use this visa again to threaten your employer then that would be something wrong as, as well so uh the applicant see to remain in australia undertake work justice activity what are those activity that's basically going through the complaining or the appealing process now i, I also need to mention that getting into this 408 visa uh does not get you permanent residency so you got to think carefully don't just you know arrive in australia and within the couple of weeks working for an employer and you think it's you know of, of course you should really consult and communicate with your employer not to abuse this visa not to you know you, you probably get a little bit of uh, unsettled or uh, unsatisfactory or whatever the you know situation is and you launch this visa then you will create yourself a big trouble and problem as well so there's a class of person uh, and these class of person i will explain and pro it's already told in this web page here already and the uh, the purpose of this visa is to undertake the workplace so they are complainant victim or they are in the uh, of a criminal proceeding so uh, employer made conduct some criminal <clears throat> i mean very very bad i haven't seen this a uh, very very bad employer uh for example people trafficking uh you know sexual abuse and things like that uh, and civil proceeding is more about your the arguments between uh you probably had overwork but the employer don't think you and they're pressuring you you know giving getting you to work for something that will be something with a civil proceeding or sometimes more related to pay uh agreement so they were uh, previously agreed to pay this but uh, you didn't get that kind of uh payment that it becomes sort of uh arguments between the uh and there's a coerce of uh i mean un underpaying migrant worker that's that's it that's a that's a phrase there uh, and complaining 
about the complaint relating to matter referring to item 3a so what are those items so the items will usually be first of all uh, they will be required to if there's going to be a, a criminal proceeding they i mean the wording is very tiny but i'm going to read it out to, so first one is a certificate of issue relating to applicant uh, by a person or body of government determining instrument made under five B. So 5B is usually uh, some sort of, uh, uh, let's have a look, a person related and the kind of related workplace exploitation. So it's, you know, something illegal, you know, and, and it, it may be uh, issued by the border force or issued by a police, issued by a, a local government, something like that. OK, and, and, and B is a service of state matter relating workplace exploitations. So they will be coming from per, perhaps coming from a fair work ombudsman. So uh, you have logic complaint and fair work has determined that the, the work status uh, of that place of that workplace is is obviously is obviously a, a exploitations or C the certificate that has been uh, has not been revoked or set aside so and uh, they may be uh, a process of complaints uh, but the the uh, the severe issue basically saying that the complaint assessment or analysis is still continuing it's not finished yet then you can actually ex I think that's a use to extend your 40A visa because seems to be 40A visa is only a short term it's not going to be getting you a one year two year it's only a I think a couple of month uh, for further uh, applicant uh, satisfy uh, uh, the criterion on basis and clause 408.228 workplace justice and applicant made uh, claims to be a member of it so they can actually accompany uh, with the member of uh, family unit so if you come as a family all together with a visa together for example 482 visa and they obviously you can do this one so who can actually access to this visa uh it can be for example uh student visa applicants so because uh, as long as you have the work uh permit okay you put you have the permission to work okay uh and the four four one seven working hard visa holder uh obviously four eight two visa holder and some of the four zero eight and four zero seven visa holders however would this creation of visa category create a, a class of abusive uh contacts or a lot of visa applicant possibly because it's the cost is zero dollars uh, remember we used to seeing a lot of people utilizing protection visa to actually prolong and stay in australia so uh probably this visa can be a, a utilization of doing that but however however by doing so um it doesn't this advantage it uh, doesn't bring you any advantage at all so it's uh, again it's a it's a protection visa just to protect the worker exploitations or any kind of activity that you have actually experienced uh, within the explanation of this web page here and then you can actually access to this visa now anyway should you have more question query more than welcome to leave comment right down below and i'll see you next video goodbye